Hi, I'm Eric Hoffman, Master Electrician and Co-Owner of HE Solar. Today we're going to break down the Tesla Powerwall. Uh, before that, I'll give you a quick background. My brother, Derek, and I have been installing and designing solar battery backup systems for over eight years now. And about two years ago, we switched to the Tesla Powerwall as our preferred option for energy storage. Uh, we didn't make this decision lightly. In fact, we thoroughly test all products before we begin designing and installing them for our customers. We're in the electrical equipment room underneath the HE Solar Test Array. That's where we're comparing solar panels side by side. And right behind the camera is actually some functional Tesla Powerwalls connected to the HE Solar Test Array. This is a dummy unit. It's lighter. I can move it around and show you more on the sizing of the system. Let's go ahead and dive into the functionality of this guy. All right, first let's go over the location for these units. They're outdoor rated, so they can go outside. In fact, most of our installations are outside. The dimensions are about 30 inches wide and they stand on the ground at 46 inches. They can be hung up on the wall. They will always need to be braced to the wall, even freestanding. It's more of an anti-tip device. So depth wise, they're very slim. And this is what really makes this product nice is it's about six inches off the wall. Now you can stack up to three units and I'll show you what two units looks like real quick with a couple of our dummy units. So they typically have about an inch gap in between them and you can stack up to three units like this. Every power wall installation will also require a gateway switch. This is similar to a transfer switch in that it isolates us from the grid during an outage and that allows our solar power and our power walls to continue working. So this is a big part of what we do on these installations. Sometimes it's simple because they can go right next to the existing service, but most of the time we have to rebuild a lot of electrical components. Sometimes we build the entire electrical service. And this is where our experience as master electricians really comes to shine. Derek and I and our father are all master electricians and we come out and we do these designs and we do the installations. So next let's talk about energy and power. Each unit is 13.5 kilowatt hours. So you can take your electric bill and if you're just looking to really get some rough numbers here, figure out how much you're using per day in kilowatt hours. And then you can figure out how many units you would need to cover that. Most commonly, if you're in an all electric house, you're not gonna cover the whole house. In fact, it's very common to open a sub panel like this and rewire it to where just a single sub panel or some preferred circuits are covered. So with two units, you actually get 27 kilowatt hours. We'll run through it real quick and put a list up here. We have three is 40.5 kilowatt hours, four is 54 kilowatt hours, and that covers most homes that are gas. Still won't cover your electric, all electric homes, but we recommend pulling a lot of loads off an all electric. In fact, on the HE Solar Test Array, it's connected to an all electric home where we have the furnace disconnected, the electric water heater, the electric dryer because we don't want those loads coming on and completely depleting the batteries. As you can see, you can stack up to 10 of these and really get a lot of autonomy out of your system. And that means how long the system will last during a power outage. The other unit that we look at is power and that's just on demand. How much power can it provide to the system? So with one unit, you're going to be able to cover a sub panel quite easily as long as there's no too, you know, too large of loads on here. However, if you want to cover a central air unit, we recommend at least having two. That's because these units have an inrush of current when they first start up, it pulls a lot of amperage off these guys. So we found two works well with a single central air, but you'll want to go up from there. And these are things that we discuss during our consultation. So these are the functional Tesla power walls that are connected to the HE Solar Test Array up above. And what we're doing here is we're running different scenarios, monitoring their results, we're also pairing up with different solar inverters to see how they perform with different manufacturers. So right now I'm gonna simulate an outage and this is gonna be me essentially just cutting the main breaker disconnect that's powering this whole system and it's gonna simulate an outage. To these power walls, this is gonna be the exact same thing as the grid going down. So this is where the utilities power is coming in and this is our main disconnect for everything on the HE Solar Test Array and the loads that it's connected to. So we're gonna kill it now and simulate a power outage. All right, so we're back. As you can see, lights are on, power walls are doing their job. One thing to note is that our solar inverters are gonna notice any disturbance that comes with the grid outage. And they're gonna shut off just for five minutes. And 
after five minutes, they're going to come back on. We're still disconnected from the grid. Solar inverters are doing their job. Solar panels are feeding them and they're feeding all the loads in the home and recharging the batteries at the same time. So we're in off-grid mode right now, off-grid living. If you live in Central Texas and want more information on Powerwall, including pricing, then please visit hesolarllc.com. There you can fill out a quote request that comes directly to Derek and I. Also, our phone numbers are listed on there. Right now, we're practicing social distancing and taking all the safety measures where we can accommodate you and get you pricing, as well as ultimately come out and do a design without any face-to-face -face contact. So feel free to give us a call.